Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome to Season 2, Episode Number 10 of the Hardest Zombie Quiz. Today, I have a very special guest on. He's also from Obey Undead and the amazing voice actor, Jason Usington. How are you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, man. Appreciate that. Um, I'm excited to get started with this quiz and... Um... You know, you don't gotta represent Obey. I'm wearing my shirt right now. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, uh, these questions are gonna be interesting. We'll see how you do. Uh, some of them are pretty easy. Some of them are a little more difficult. Uh, there's a mm -hmm. few that are like really hard. And it, I've been like trying to make the quiz a little bit harder, but at the same time, keep a few easier questions in it. Uh, just uh -huh. so you guys at home can play as well. and. Let me know how you do down below in the comments section. So jumping into it, question number one it was submitted by Juice Box, and he asked, what is the name referenced in the Mule Kick jingle? So I got to go with El Burro. Final answer. That is correct. He yeah. was El Burro. Love and that for a jingle. If you guys didn't know, El Burro just means donkey in Spanish. So yep. Uh, Funny enough, I was playing some Minecraft with a bunch of other zombies, guys, and that's what I ended up naming my donkey. <laughs> oh, that makes perfect sense. Nice. Yeah. All right. Good job. You're on the board right away. Yeah. All right. Question number two. Who says the quote, put that in the funny pages, you big joke. And it's a play. It's a character from Black Ops 1. Something's telling me it's got to be someone from the Call of the Dead crew. But at the same time. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I also hear Dempsey yelling that, too. I don't know why. You know what? I'm going to go with the avant-garde answer. I'm going to say Dempsey, final answer, just because it sounds so ridiculous and all the 1.0 characters are caricatures. I'm going to go with that. Just why not? Okay, so unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer is Richard Nixon on five. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, question number three is from David Flores. This is probably one of the harder ones. In Black Ops 1 Zombies, each character in a four player game has a different color associated with them. The colors are white, blue, yellow, and green. The color is always the same. What color was Richtofen, Castro, and Michael Rooker? In Black right. Ops 1, what color was it? Their point. Rick Thompson, Castro, and Michael Rooker. Really? What color? It's all the same color. Oh, for those okay. two characters. So I have a one in four chance of getting this one Basically, right. Basically, yeah. Because <laughs> because of moon, my instinct is telling me blue. I don't know. I. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go blue. Final answer. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. The correct answer is green. Green. Oh, yeah. Dang. That one's yeah, guess, that one's really hard. So <laughs> I guess in a roundabout way, that kind of makes some kind of sense. With Castro I, I kind of being green, I think that is the only one that maybe makes sense. But because uh, yeah. he's wearing green. But other than that, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Ah, pretty hard. Uh, all right. Next question. Question number four on the map Shadows of Evil. How many possible symbols are there? To unlock the wall for the swords and the eggs. I, I see the wall. I'm visualizing the wall right in front of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can count them all here. I know there's a symbol like right in the middle, like at the top of the middle of the of the semicircle there or the whatever shape. Um so by it, so that would mean the other sides have to be even too. I'm gonna go nine. I think I think there's I think there's a good chunk of symbols that you can get from the wall, but at the same time there aren't you know too too many. Uh, I'm gonna go nine. Final answer. That is correct. There is yeah. nine. Nice job. I know a lot uh -huh. of speedrunners uh, know like they know which number it is, so they just remember the number and then shock it. All right. Question number five. This is possibly the hardest one on the whole quiz. Uh, oh. It's from TCC underscore KP6000 who said on Ascension after you turn on the power, what is the security protocol number said by the announcer? It's five numbers. I'll give you that. It, okay, but, it's five numbers. I mean, it's it's really hard. 
So out of the okay, so there's five numbers out of the possible number combinations there are in the world. I have like a one in whatever chance to get this right. Uh, shoot. Eight six seven five four. Final answer because I honestly don't remember the numbers. Yeah, that is incorrect. Uh, next time you play Ascension, it's one three two five five. One three two five five. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moving on to question number six is from Danger Cutie who asked, which organ did Richtofen remove from the Mexican test subject because he thought it was the gateway to Agartha? I know Richtofen has funny quotes about removing the spleen, uh, but I feel like that'd be too obvious. I know you had Maxis and the drone with his brain. Maybe he did the same thing to... I mean, I know the different versions of Richtofen, but you got... I don't know, connecting your consciousness to the afterlife. Maybe I'll go with the brain. Final answer. So the correct answer is the spleen of Pablo. It was spleen. <laughs> yeah, it was. I can't believe it. I, oh, I was, no. e you know, it was one of the easier ones. I can't believe it. No way. <laughs> Question number seven is from Zombie Man, who asked during the Firebase Z Easter egg, you need to capture members of Omega in essence traps. What are the three names? Brahms, Sokolov, and Zabim. That is final correct. Answer. Good job. I was already telling you you're right before you said final answer. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of Cold War players know that one. So, question number eight Explain in detail how to get the heat pack on Tagder Toen. <laughs> okay, so you got to head up to the facility. And you got to take the gearbox of the machine thing, whatever, for the flinger. Go take it back up to Pablo the Hermit, and he goes and repairs it. Put it back up on the flinger. Then you got to launch yourself in each of the three specific spots on the flinger that break each of the wooden crates. Then you collect all the parts, and you build it, and you get the heat pack. Final answer. That is correct. Good job. Yeah. Uh, there ne you go. Next up is from the Zeus Man, and he said, true or false? On town, in the back of the bar, there's a sign with glitched letters that spell out moon. Is that true or false? I, it, it, in the back of the bar. So, so which, like, like yeah. which side of the bar is that technically? Like the, near the covered up buildable table or? If you're standing at Pack-a-Punch, mm -hmm. like facing Pack-a-Punch, it's to the left. Like that side street with the bowling alley. Okay. I do think there's a sign there, but I don't think it says moon. So I'm going to say false. Final answer. All right. So the correct answer is actually true. Uh, it really? does say moon. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's kind of cool how they did some of the, uh, you know, like <laughs> some of the different signs, well, like bus depot is there. like BS or something like that. And. Huh. Now die is the diner, like stuff now like that. Die. Yeah, I, that's a classic <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Question number ten: Where is the MP40 wall by located in World at War, Darius? Nah, let's just skip that one for now. But I'm thinking either there's like the, the hallway, the hallway in the building, and you have that kind of side hallway that leads before that other teleporter. I'm thinking it's either there. Are you talking about animal testing? Animal testing, yes. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's there. I don't think it's there. But I'm, uh, okay. the, other th the other location I was thinking was the teleporter that's right next to animal testing. That was the other location I was thinking about. But okay. then at the same time, there's also the other teleporter up near the uh, on the second floor of uh, of that area there with the two big tubes. So I'm kind of going back and forth in my head between those two right now. I don't know. I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to go with the teleporter near animal testing. I'm going to go with what I was originally thinking. I'm going to go with that final answer. That is correct. It is actually <laughs> there. So uh, the uh, shotgun is in the animal testing thing. That's but, what it was. But the MP40 is in like the little opening room kind of. That's like yes. on the, to the left. And mm -hmm. then the type that's 100 is in the one with the two that. The Type 100 is there. Okay, good. I, I, cause I knew there was an SMG there, but I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't know which one. I'm glad I said animal testing though. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good job. All right. Question number 11. How much debris or and items 
Can Leroy or Arthur destroy when you give him booze? Ooh. Okay. Um, time to think. So, so we it's have... just the number. So just the number of things he destroys when you give him booze. Yep. Okay. Let me think about that one. So we have Jug. We have the Gunsmith. We have the pathway that leads to the other buildings. We have the Fountain, the Witch's House, Vulture's Aid, and the uh, the little side area for the Easter egg. So I'm counting seven. I think it's seven, final answer. So unfortunately, I think you forgot the first one that he breaks oh, open. In the jail cell. Oh my gosh. You know, I take that for granted so many times because that's just what you do normally in the game. Oh my gosh. You're so right. unfortunately ah, it is eight. It's yeah. Eight. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I, I, that's like exactly what I said there, man. I take that for granted. I Like, I don't think of that as, you know, something that he needs to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, all right. Question number 12 is from TCC KP 6000. This is a storyline question from BO4. Mm -hmm. What is the first name of Shaw's wife? I don't know what kind of names were popular back in those days. I mean, me neither, dude. <laughs> so it's well before dude. our time. <laughs> I can't say that a lot anymore, but uh, definitely I feel that. way before. Denise, final answer. <laughs> All right, so the correct answer is Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay, well, now I know for next time. Yeah, and she ha he has, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure Shaw had two boys. All right, question number 13 is from Pels Dare Toten, whatever that is. Mm. And he said, when you hack another player on Moon, how many points do you give to them? I have a feeling it's a thousand points, but... I think I, I'm, I, you know, I'll say a thousand points. Final answer. I'll say a thousand points. All right. So the correct answer is 500 points. Ah, 500. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Question number 14 is from XL Tuna who asked, who says I can dispatch an opponent with a pinky finger? A spoon is almost unfair. And that is on blood of the dead. I'm going to say Takio. I don't know why. I, I have a feeling Takio might say something like that because I feel like if it was Dempsey, he'd be like, yeah, I can take him out with just my pinky. And then Nikolai would take him out with his um, other Russian things. But for Takio Masaki, I think he would. He, he says words like dispatch and things like that. He's very, he, he has he has his way with words, if, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to say Takio, final answer. The correct answer is Takio, yes. You are correct. Yeah. All right. Nice job. Awesome. All right. Question number 15. Which two weapons always have a smiley face reticle when pack-a-punched? There's one from Black Ops 1 and one from Black Ops 2. Okay. I think the one from Black Ops 2 has to be the SMR because of the pack-punch name. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go SMR for Black Ops 2. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm going to say the FAL. I don't know why. I, I I just, just the first, the first gun that came to my mind when I thought of that. I'm going to say SMR BO2, FAL, Black Ops 1. Final answer. All right. So the SMR is correct because it's called like the smiley, smiley. or whatever. But uh, the Black Ops 1 weapon is the FAMAS. The FAMAS? Really? Yeah, it has a smiley face reticle every time. Question number 16 is from Ben, a monster. And he asked in black ops three, where are the wall buys for the KN 44 on shadows of evil and the giant? Okay. So if we're classifying it by like the districts, then yeah, I guess the footlight district, that would be the answer there. Uh, and then for the KN 44 on the giant, that would be next to the, the catwalk teleporter. That'd be my final answer. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Love the KN44. I used that a lot when I first started playing Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3. That's the KN44. All right. Question number 17. Which character in Omega Group is mentioned as a direct descendant of Uberfuhr Wolfram von List? A direct descendant of von List? Yes. 
Omega, huh? And he's in Cold War. Wow. Okay. So that would have to be Jaeger because he's he's uh, Eastern German. I think it. I think it has to be Jaeger. Final answer. That is correct. It's Doctor Hugo Jaeger. Yes, Doctor Jaeger. <laughs> that guy really annoyed the hell out of me. All right. Question number eighteen. How do you get the achievement Space Race on Ascension? I'm going to say Pack-A-Punch. I think it's going to be Pack-A-Punch for the first time on Ascension because the, the, the rocket launches, and then I'm thinking like Space Race, technology, you upgrade your weapons technology. I'm going to say Pack-A-Punch for the first time on Ascension. I'm going to give you a hint here. Oh, okay. It has to do with Pack-A-Punch, but you have to do it by a specific round. So I'll let you guess oh. what round. Oh, um, round seven, I think it is. And it's like, it's like kind of coming back to me now. It's like round seven or round eight. It's like, it's a, it's a single digit round. It's a single digit round. I need you to pick one. I'm going to go seven. Okay. So it's pack punch by round eight. It is eight. Yeah. <laughs> uh... I, I don't think I can give it to you, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries. I was one. I was one number. You were, off. you were really close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As soon as you said that, my my brain jogged my memory. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That the, there's like it's a single digit round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, the killing the monkey with a fire trap is chimps on a Barbie. That's what it is. That's right. That's one of the funniest names I think for any achievement. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Question number nineteen. In order to get the free winter's howl on classified. After you enter the four numbers, how many full rounds do you need to stay at Area 51? That is three rounds you have to stay at Area 51. Final answer. That is correct. Yeah. Good job. You're doing really well. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and the last and final question, question number 20, is from Charlie, who asked, how many wonder weapons are on Call of the Dead? How many Wonder Weapons are on Call of the Dead? Okay. So we got the Ray Gun, the Scavenger, the VR-11. And then if you want to count the Wonder Waff Death Machine power-up thing, we can count that. Are we counting that? Yes. Okay. So based off of that... Also, I, I, do you consider Monkey Bombs Wonder Weapons too or no? No, Monkeys and Matryoshkas would not count for this. Okay. So based off of that, I think I'm going to have to say four. Final answer. That is correct. Good job. Yeah, all right. I was I was hoping the Wonder Waff was going to throw you off, but you knew too much already. <laughs> he knows too much. Yes. <laughs> so that brings you to a total of 50. So you got half of them correct. You got 10 of them Ooh, correct. Okay. Which is really bad. well. Like, that's one of the highest scores. Uh, really? You beat Pizza, you beat uh, Dalek, Lex, Chopper. So what? you actually no did way. really well. Yeah, good job, uh, man. Uh, I could I feel like I could have gotten a couple more of those. I was like one number yeah. off or like one thing off. Mm -hmm. But hey, this was a ton of fun, man. Those are some really good questions. All right. So now after taking the quiz, do you think it lives up to the name the hardest zombies quiz? Yes, absolutely. I think uh I think people will find that this quiz has more than meets the eye when it comes to its difficulty. So I think uh, I think this definitely lives up to the name, the hardest zombies quiz. All right, so it lived up to the name. That's definitely good to hear. And last but not least, I will pass it off to you to say whatever you want. You can promote yourself, what you'd like to post on your YouTube channel, all that sort of thing. And also, let me know who you would like to see as a guest if you have any like friends you want to recommend for it. Well, that's for sure. I definitely want to see my boy, the host of the Division Z podcast, K Cosmic. I want to see you on this quiz. I want to see how you do, my friend. And um, I guess to wrap things up for this video, hi, I'm Jason. I, al I also do zombies content on my channel, Jason H Gaming. Uh, and I'm a voice actor and you know, I just, I love doing zombie stuff. And like Greg said at the beginning, I'm a member of Obey Undead. And uh, thank you guys for watching Greg's video. This was really fun.
yeah thanks again so much for taking the time out of your day to be a part of it and i hope everyone at home enjoyed this episode i'll see you guys next week with another quiz and i'm sure i'll have some videos throughout the week as well so peace out guys peace